Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kelvin Johnson. In this video, I'm going to show you how to disable remote desktop and remote assistance in Windows 11. So I'm also going to show you how to disable remote desktop using the group policy in Windows 11. So to disable the remote assistance, so what we need to do is you need to go to a search and here we need to tap the just tap remote assistance and you will just click on allow remote assistance invitation to be sent from this per se so here you can see we have the system properties on our system properties we let me just move this here we have the option called remote you can see it says remote assistance by default the allow remote assistance connection to this computer is actually um, on so which means that someone can actually send you a remote assistance to be able to connect to your device so when we click advanced you can see it says allow this computer to be controlled remotely and the maximum our amount of time invitation can remain open in six hours we can actually change this to the time wheel one but i want to actually cancel this and i want to disable this allow remote assistance which means that no one should be able to actually remotely control your device and also we see we have the remote desktop by default the remote desktop is set to don't allow remote connection to this computer so probably if you have been using your device for a long time it must have been set maybe someone said it to allow remote connection to this device so if you bought a device from so bought a laptop or a desktop from someone and it has already been configured to allow remote connection to this computer so what you need to do is just click don't allow remote connection to this computer and then click apply and then click ok so and again i will want to go to group policy so just go to set menu and then tap group policy so just click on the edit group policy and under the edit group policy let me expand let me expand this so you can see we have here we have our computer configuration and then click administrative template so on our administrative template you you want to actually click the windows component so you click windows component and in click windows component and then we need to search for the arrow which is the remote desktop here we have the remote desktop service let me just scroll this up so we have the remote desktop service so under the remote under the remote desktop service we need to click on the remote desktop connection client so if i click on that so here and let me just i'm sorry we need to click on the remote desktop session host and here we need to click on connection and in connection you see we have the option called allow users to connect remotely by using the remote desktop service so what we need to do is we need to disable this and click apply and here you can see what it says you see if you disable this policy settings users cannot connect remotely to the target computer by using the remote desktop service so is the remote desktop service that actually control the remote desktop connection on your device so we'll just click ok and now you can see it has been disabled so it has been disabled not only for this user's name but also for every single one that will log on to this device the remote desktop service connection will be deactivated so that is how you actually disable the remote um, assistance and the remote desktop service on your windows 11. thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video my name is calvin johnson and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more it videos so if you have any question you can also always leave a comment on the comment section of this video and i will reply to you as quick as possible and please you, you can also join my facebook group i created on windows 11 so if you have any uh, any question you can always place it on that group or if you have any ideas or any video you created and you think that video can be valuable to some to some to, to that group you can always actually just place your video on that group thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video i'll see you next time bye